see how they do. Um, I'm here commentating with my friend London. This is his first tournament he's ever been to, so he doesn't know what's going on. But <laughs> so uh, Banjo Kazooie was just introduced in Smash um, a couple days ago, and I guess uh, Kamikaze is already, you know, playing him and stuff. Let's get some combos. Yeah. Um, so Nito playing his iconic uh, Sonic. Like, no biases there. He's just really good with Sonic. Um, everybody knows it. Um, it's really hard to hit him. His spacing's very well. And um, you're going to see how throughout this doubles match, he's just going to be, like, avoiding everybody. But the moment he can get a hit on you, this Sonic is going to hit you mm. really hard. And especially Ooh. with, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> Sonido doing a really good job of avoiding everybody and just hitting them when he needs to hit them. Uh, no stocks have been taken off right now, but oh, okay, we just got a stock off Pac Man. And as we all know, uh, Banjo Kazooie, his side B is a, uh, it's invincible. Uh, he can only use five of them, I believe until for his, for each stock so he needs to use them wisely but for doubles i mean that's great because you can uh just <laughs> kind of hit everybody and like not worry about it mm -hmm. and then your teammate can uh, uh cover you while you're like vulnerable uh, we got kind of oh wow mm. going off stage like that that's crazy yeah we're probably expecting to see uh Hopefully, <laughs> by the time uh, Kamikaze and Sunita gets them to their last stocks, you're probably going to see some really cool combos because uh, these guys, I mean, they're friends, they practice. And uh, it's really interesting to see how uh, two players can do combos. And just like I said before, just throwing out that side B, like, you know, beats out through everything. <laughs> just oh, yeah. there he goes again. It just kind of covers a lot of a lot of options. And actually, red team not doing that bad. Uh, I mean, I know they're uh, a, a stock behind them or like two stocks behind, but um, considering the skill level that Kamikaze and Sonido are at, um, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, yeah, they can hopefully like take another stock and get them to the last two stocks. And I really like, uh, oh. oh no, unfortunately Pikachu is going to SD. Uh, I main Pikachu, so I know the struggle of like, killing yourself with, you know, quick attack. But for doubles, uh, quick, uh, Pikachu is amazing, just edge guarding and getting back on stage, covering a bunch of options. And if you have a projectile, you can just kind of spam that kind of stuff. Oh, so this is the combos. Oh no, it just hits his friend on accident. Let's see how they're going to take off this last stock, okay? Probably gonna see something, some, something really hype up right now. Probably gonna. Gr oh, you know he's really trying. Uh, Pac-Man has the, you know, the tools to. Oh, gets hit with the whole Hydra. That's hilarious. Yeah, you're kind of just laughing about it, having a good time. That's what we're about here at Gwinnett Brawl. Honestly, uh, red team didn't do that bad. They were just getting a hit. They were getting hit by a lot of uh, like projectiles and stuff. Mm -hmm. What's that bird move with the wings? That uh, Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. Um, they're new. They're new to this game. Uh, And actually, for people who don't know, uh, Kamikaze, which is uh, he's playing um, Banjo Kazooie, he has a visor on. He actually skates a lot. He's a really good skater. Not 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 a known fact. You know, a lot of people skate nowadays. But I saw some clips of him like doing some grinds and stuff. I was like, damn, this guy can skate. Yeah, yeah, he really skates. So we got a good community of talented people here. Yeah. So we're up to game three. I mean, game two. Uh, best out of three. So. 
Um, if Sonido and Kamikaze gets this, uh, they'll move on to uh, winners round three. Uh, one thing to pay attention to is uh, looking at how Pac-Man will be using his hydrant and his items. Um, that hydrant really gets annoying. Mm. And um, if you notice, Pac-Man's gonna try to like you know use his like zoning options as much as he can, which is his hydrant and like his fruits and stuff. But Banjo Kazooie has a lot of projectiles, so I mean, I feel like you know he just came out, but oh. if you keep practicing him. Um, we'll have some good stuff to do. Uh, Banjo Kazooie has grenades he can throw out of his backpack. He can like pick up Kazooie the bird and just start shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and uh, Banjo Kazooie, he seems like he seems like he can get comboed really easily because of his weight. But like I said, like um, well, I haven't said this, but. The good thing about doubles is uh, if you're getting comboed, your partner can help you out mm. in drastic situations. Uh, you know, Pikachu as Dean again, that's unfortunate. You really got to practice those quick attacks. Okay, covering his option with Thunder. Oh, nice tech by Pikachu. Banjo Kazooie trying to get on stage. Okay, nice. <laughs> he just throws oh, him. He just eats him out of there. I would like to see more. Uh, like, I think the problem with red team is like, oh my god, kills his own teammate, bro. That's a bro moment. Um, back to back to the last stock. See, let's see what combos they can do with this. But what, what, what I like to see red team go, because they're in winner's bracket, so they can go, you know, they're going to go to losers. Um, I like to see them zone more with their options and, like, you know, be, like, more aware of uh, when their teammates are getting hit by stuff. But uh, I mean, blue team has four stocks. It's only a matter of time before this Pac-Man gets uh, yeah, gets bonked out of stage. Oh my <laughs> God! Just kind of goes for it, and that's gonna be that game. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, we're gonna have some more matches coming up, and uh, we'll be out.